You're listening to Spring River Chronicle. Audio on the go. First National Banking Company. Get checking that pays with Super Plus Checking at FNBC. New alcohol tax proposed in Cherokee Village. A proposed tax on alcoholic drinks is under discussion and would result in a 5 to 10 percent tax on alcoholic drinks at private clubs by Lauren Siebert. Alcoholic drinks in private clubs will be subject to a new tax if the city of Cherokee Village passes the ordinance discussed at the February 16 meeting. Councilman Curtis Bratcher introduced for discussion a proposed ordinance 2012-A an ordinance levying a supplemental tax on the sale of alcoholic drinks, beer, and wine by private clubs. At this time, this is for discussion only, in the simple form that it is now, Bratcher said. I ask the mayor to write a letter and send it to the concerned parties. The council discussed at what percent the tax would be set, first debating a 10% tax on all alcoholic drinks served by private clubs. My understanding on that is 5% was the amount that John Nabil, our city attorney, believes can be done, Bratcher said. The council noted that Jonesboro's tax was originally set at 3% and eventually raised to 5%. Those funds generated by the tax are given to the police department for drunk driving, anti-drug and alcohol programs. One councilman posed the question of putting the generated revenue toward the Cherokee Village Police Department. Bratcher stated that although it was a good idea, it would mean creating another program the city would have to manage and currently that is not something the city could afford. I can appreciate your remarks, but our budget is not such that we need to add any programs to it, Bratcher said. We need to be cutting. This would be adding another expenditure item. This just needs to go in the general fund for support of all the programs. According to Bratcher, putting the funds generated from the tax in the general fund would help offset the loss of money transferred to the fire department and would also help balance the budget next year when the street department runs out of funding. Councilman Kent Veers noted that he felt there was a potential for the tax to be more harmful than helpful where the community was concerned. I'm a member of the Elks, and the revenue they generate affects the community. Our dues and the money we generate goes back to the schools, for the backpacks and scholarships. We have about 63 families we give Christmas baskets to, and 127 kids we give Christmas gifts to, and we support the veterans, Veers said. I feel they're having a hard time out there now, to help the community like we do and, unless we increase the prices. We'll have less money to spend to help out. The discussion was brought to a close by Mayor Lloyd Hefley with a statement, I believe these are all good ideas, but we need to take time to look the material over, send a letter to the concerned parties, and come back next month and look it over at the next meeting. Thanks for listening to Spring River Chronicle Audio on the Go. Be sure to subscribe to the paper and check us out online at myspringriver.com.